Hey, how's it going guys? Um, I hope to start your day is great. Um, today I am going to be talking about something a little different. Something I haven't talked about, I don't think, on this channel. Um, so if you have been a long su subscriber since the beginning, you have noticed that one of my, one or two of my videos is about Year Mastics Care. Now if you don't know what a Year Mastics is, I'll see about throwing a picture up maybe in the corner of this video. I don't know. Uh, it depends on what type of editing I can do with this video. Um, anyway, if you don't know what your mastix is, it's a uh, desert species of lizard. And just one of their common names is spiny tail lizard. I'm not really going to go into too much detail because that's not what, exactly what this video is about. Um, so, if you've been a long subscriber from the beginning, you will know this that I only have one or two videos of the of the species of lizard. Um, and I'm gonna go into the reason why there is only two videos. So accidents happen. I would say that. Uh, just it doesn't matter how much experience you have, how careful you are, how many years you've uh, done the hobby for. Things can happen no matter how careful you are. Um, I'm going to be talking about a mistake that I made that I have learned from. Um, so she unfortunately died uh, due to an accident that was my fault. It was a stupid, stupid accident. Um, but like I said, people make, people make mistakes. Things happen. Um, it's how you learn from those mistakes is who, what makes you you are today um, anyway let me get into it so I was cleaning her enclosure just kind of spot cleaning it uh, I had recently at the time I had moved on to a different substrate instead of using like loose sandy substrates I just went on to newspaper it was just a lot more simpler and it was a lot cleaner and easier to clean um, and one day I was cleaning her enclosure I thought, you know, I'm just going to get this done. I'm going to do it just real quick. I can get it done in five, six minutes. And uh, I took, I didn't take her out. I always do. I always did. I don't know why I didn't. Just this day I wanted to make, just get it done and over with so I can move on with my other animals. And um, so I left her in there. And her light that sits on top I had a double dome. Because uh, she had a uh, daytime bulb, and then plus she had a UVB because she needs uh, your mastics need high UVB. And I took the dome; it's still on. Uh, the daytime the daytime lights were still on. I took the dome and just set it still on the tank, but off to the side where it's on the edge, but still shining down in. Um, and I didn't take her out. I don't know why. I just figured, hey, you know, I can get this done in a couple minutes. And, you know, it would just be a breeze and get that out of the way. And I was going to clean. I was spot cleaning her cage at the time. Because, like I said, I only had her on paper at, the t uh, at that time. And, unfortunately, the lamp fell in and hit her. Um... And she, I think, instantly died. Like I said, guys, mistakes happen. Uh, you make mistakes. Doesn't matter how long you've been in the hobby, how long you cared for that animal. You you you'll make mistakes. It happens. And that's one mistake that I did learn from. Um, it's just you know. It happens sometimes you just gotta make sure you're being careful at the time I was just being stupid I thought you know I can get this done in a breeze I can get this get this done in just a few minutes and I'll be good but then that didn't go as planned um, I waited a lot of reptiles they can go into a shock and that's you know they just go into a shock mode where they can appear that they're dead uh, they can appear that they have stopped breathing for several days at a time, even just it's a, just a natural uh, defense. Um, 
I even read an article that a family's bearded dragon apparently mysteriously died and then they buried it and then like five or six days later it was in where they buried it and they had found it sitting maybe like three or four feet from the bury site that they had it at. Um, so I even went the whole day the whole day and left her in her tank hoping and praying that she will wake up and she never did. I buried her and I uh, I buried her and waited a few days kept checking on where I buried her she was still there and even a week or two went by she was still there because I just didn't I wanted to make sure that she was actually passed and that she wasn't going to be loose outside then because she was just in shock. Unfortunately, she was dead. Um, it was quick. She didn't suffer, thankfully. Um, but I just want to make this video because and let you guys know that mistakes do happen. Things, Bad things do happen no matter how careful you are, even though that day I wasn't careful like I should have been. Um, but it's I did learn from that mistake and I'll never do it again hopefully not anyway um, so yeah it's a lesson learned so I know you guys are probably wondering where the heck all this time of my channel has this lizard been and there you go that's that's what happened I've been thinking about this long and hard if I was gonna do this video um, just because I know how people can be saying all oh, you're stupid why'd you do that well in a way you're right I was stupid that day to do that but at the same time I didn't want all the spam spam comments and uh, get people that gang up so but I decided to make this video and Hoover's you know if there's gonna be anybody that's just gonna spam me about it well <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore those comments so like I said, things do happen, unfortunately. Um, no matter how careful you are, accidents can happen. Um, if you're somebody like me that, you know, worked with these animals every day, poured your life into them, your time, energy, love for those animals, their passion for that animals, you know, it, it's really devastating when something like that does happen. Um, I know a lot of people that are like that that are so so involved in their animals and it it can be pretty rough when something happens especially if you've had that animal for say six months to five years ten years I mean if you yeah you're that involved into your animals it is really rough when you actually do lose them um, this happened to me it's like at the beginning of my channel so probably about two years ago maybe uh, probably by now two, two and a half, something like that. I'm not 100% sure on the dates. So, just thought I'd let you guys know that. I know you've probably been wondering, you know, why, why haven't I showed anything about this lizard or anything like that, anything that has maybe happened because obviously I don't have her. Um, will I get one, another one in the future? That's a possibility. Um, not anytime soon, not in the near future. I got so much going on already. Um, just, you know, life stuff going on. I got this project in the background, kind of basically covering it all, but, um, I got packages on the way for that, for stuff that I'm putting in it. Well, actually only two things, but still, <laughs> it's going to make the tank look a whole lot better. Um, and then I got smoke my bow python and in reality I really don't have the room at the moment for another animal um, But in the future Possibly someday I will get another year mastix. I am looking at one not to actually buy but just thinking about it um, For a or ornate year mastix, Something like that. I don't know So yeah that's the story guys uh, it's unfortunate it is and I'll always know not to make that same mistake just 
please don't make the mistake that I made, guys. Um, always be aware of where things are and what you're doing with them. Um, because it was my fault that it happened. Unfortunately, that happened, but that, you know, that's life. That happens. Things, bad things do happen. No matter how careful you are or how long, how much experience you have with the animal or whatever it is in life, whatever your hobbies are, bad things do happen. And it's how you learn from them is what makes you who you are. I've definitely learned from my mistakes. I've made several mistakes in my life when it came to animals. And I have learned from all of them. Some of them were sometimes harder. Um, but guys, I'm not perfect. I don't pretend to be. And yeah, <laughs> things happen, guys. But thanks for watching. And I also want to say welcome to any new viewers. I've gotten several, several new um, subscribers this month. And I just thank you. I finally hit over 100 subscribers and my channel is just taking off a lot better than i ever expected it to um there's still stuff in the future to come not sure when but i got some future projects coming up and if you guys want to give me some ideas you can drop it in the comments below um i should show you real quick here got the 50 gallon aquarium right here and I just got sub. I just ordered substrate from Chewy.com. This is not a sponsor, by the way. Um, but it's plantation soil. We got like a 20-pound bag. I don't know how far that's. That's probably not gonna go too far, but I'm gonna make it work. I'm probably gonna put some stones in there as well, and get a lot of live plants. I am gonna change this all up completely once I get this stuff to do it. And I am trying to make my own my own do-it-yourself aquascape if you will and if you're wondering where that light that purple light is coming from it's a plant light that I have underneath the stand and um, for another miniature plant project that I'm doing I'll probably do another video on that so yeah guys like I said accidents happen unfortunate as it is um, so stay tuned guys, I'm going to probably be working on some other videos and not sure when I'll post them, I'm just going to try to spread them out. I've been trying to do something like one, maybe two videos a week. Um, so yeah, uh, look, stay tuned because I am going to do a video on the scape or whatever you want to call it, do it yourself project that I'm doing. Um, I'm eventually going to get some more fish in there. I'm still not 100% sure what I want. I'm thinking about maybe possibly doing a small school of tiger barbs uh, or maybe do add some tetras. Like I am really really like Daniels or zebra Daniels too. So I'm not sure. Comment your ideas of good schooling fish in the comments and I'll see you what them what they are and if I want to do those I'm just not 100% sure what I'm wanting to do with this tank yet so like I said before stay tuned guys welcome any new subscribers and viewers uh, like my Facebook page JB exotics I'll put it up in the corner and thank you for watching talk to you later